Hi, darling. I'm going to be playing against the storm today. Now, I do need to note a couple of things before we hop into this. First of all, happy Wednesday. Mwah. We'll be playing against Storm today. Uh, we're going to be doing Command and Conquer's secret ant missions tomorrow, like the original Command and Conquer Red Alert. And then we're going to go back to the Command and Conquer 1 Covert Ops on Friday, and we're going to be doing a good amount of RTS-style content, city builder-style content over the next many weeks, including playing against the Storm, which is a roguelike city builder. Now, I don't exactly know all the details about the game because it's only been recommended to me in a few textual formats. So for instance, um, in a lot of city building games that I've played before, actually Mr. Gadget says, what does Rogue like mean? Yeah, let me back up, let me back up. One of my favorite games of all time is Banished. Banished is a city building game that's hard. You can mess up. Your little group that's trying to build a small village can all freeze to death in the winter. You can have your food go bad and you don't have enough food in the stores to keep your population alive. A lot of things can go wrong, but once you figure out the balancing act, you're kind of done. Frostpunk, a brilliant game, one of the greatest city building games ever. Once you figure out the balancing act, you're kind of done. And so we've long talked about this idea of what are ways to work against that problem? And one idea is to incorporate roguelike elements. A roguelike, I'm not going to talk about the history of where it comes from, but a roguelike is the idea of, instead of playing one character for 50 hours, or one um, um, you know, single-player game that goes for an indefinite period of time, like, you know, Banished or City Skylines or something like this, you instead have a victory condition combined with a ton of challenge. So you get some of the way through, you lose, and then you restart. Or you get through and you complete this city, and now you're done, then you go to the next mission and you play through. And roguelike meaning that there's a lot of randomization, there's a lot of punishment, there's a lot of skill, there's a lot of problem solving. Um, and so when I heard of this game, I was like, oh my God, we've been talking about some sort of roguelike city builder for a long time. I wonder what they did and now I'm going to find out. This is probably the number one or two most recommended game that I play in the last few weeks. Um, so we're going to give it a go. And also it says the next big update is Thursday, January 19th, which is tomorrow. So LOL. The world is plagued by the blight storm. A vile cycle of destruction ravaging everything in its path. Beautiful the art. The only safe haven is the smoldering city. Where the mysterious scorched queen reigns. You are one of her viceroys, a pioneer sent into the wilds, tasked with establishing new settlements and acquiring valuable resources for the crown. All right, pretty Your straightforward. Goal is to help rebuild the smoldering city and secure the future of the queen's subjects. All right, no normally voiceovers are just quiet. Well, well I, I cranked up the volume. We'll see if it stays in good shape. Um, all right. All right, WASD. Use the mouse to move the camera. I much prefer WASD in these situations. I can right-click drag. I see. Neglecting your village will increase the queen's impatience and bring her wrath upon you. It's kind of weird to see. Well, I, I assume there's another half of a UI that's going to live down here. And, you know, before I hit next too many times, can I just say, I like that this game is just getting to the game. I hit play and now I'm, I'm in a game. Fulfilling your duties will increase the town's reputation, unlock new buildings and eventually bring you to victory. So I assume that this is the um, loss condition. If she becomes too impatient, we get scorched. And this is the reputation. Um, so there's there's a sort of um, disjointed win-loss condition, which is great. Now choose a blueprint. Click on the crown icon below. Each expedition starts with only a few essential blueprints. More will be given to you as you gain reputation points. Now pick the woodcutter's camp. Okay, so 
right away I want to um, just talk through some of my issues slash common properties of city builders. Most of the time, city builders have fixed structures. Like, oh, you want to build a police station. So it costs 500 and that's it. Done. And maybe you can upgrade it to police station level two, but it, it's fixed. And often in city building games, they're very siloed in their um, responsibilities. So you'll have a police station and that is the only thing that does police stuff. I'm gonna pull down the volume just a smidge. So in other words, it's not like you have a police station that gives you plus 10 to security, but then you can also make neighborhood watch that gives plus five to security, right? Like, like, and that, that property is something that I love about card games, where it's not that if I'm taking Magic the Gathering keywords as an example, it's not that this is the unit that has flying and it's the one flying unit. And this is the unit that copies spells and that's it. You can have many different cards that have flying. You can have many different cards that copy spells and creatures that copy spells and all sorts of other things. Mechanics get peppered around. So I'm curious about how this game is going to do its structures because in a card game, the fact that there's so many mix and matches of things means I can use familiar ideas and things can still feel fresh when new cards come out. Whereas in city building games, I find that when I figure out what the buildings do and how to order them, I'm done. All right. All right. Starting point for woodcutters going out into the wild to cut down trees. Let's pick this. Press space to resume. Build woodcutters camp and explore the forest. You have to keep the fire going at all times. All right, so this is our small hearth. Can I make the text bigger? Where 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 is my text size? I got eye strain last time I tried to play Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, I am maxing this out. Great UI, it does handle this. The heart of the colony is protected by the holy flame. Villagers gather here to rest, eat, and receive clothing. If the fire goes out people will lose hope. Specialization bonus warmth. So coal, obtained by mine, break oven, kiln, sure. Sea marrow, efficient fuel. Oil, efficient, not as efficient as coal, which is why we're gonna be a coal-based city builder, baby. I remember when I played Factorio and I did everything with Coal, depth of field. Sure, actually, I think the depth of field would look cool, but but if you if you try to ever get me to have motion blur, I will literally delete your game. Hmm? And you're like, Sean, but you didn't just delete this game, did you? And I'm like, don't question me. The motion blur in RTS is the funniest shit ever, man. Continue. Oh, okay, so here's a little, looks like here's just an instruction set for lots of things, and I'm just gonna kind of ignore this. Okay. Humans, beavers, lizards. Ah, yes, the same breakdown of the government. Um, all right, camps, woodcutters camp, great. Starting point for woodcutters. All right, so. R rotates, Q and E rotates my window, great. Now, I don't know what order units go in and out of, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to like, I can place this anywhere, huh? I'm gonna place this. Right here and just see what happens. Oh, look at the little guy. Now, what is this? All right, so orders. So can I only, can I only build? Oh, huh. All right, so I'm slowly learning what things are. So if I build two woodcutters and I chop 10 wood, I get three beavers and woodcutting improves. And this gives me one 
reputation. So I'm going to build another one. But this time over here. Okay. Starting point for woodcutters going out to the wild cut down trees. So this is woodcutters one of two. Okay, so this one out of two is just a reference to how many I have in existence. Is this a full game or is it early access? It's early access, Mr. Gadget. You know what? We're a 7% chance of doubling their yield. All right, so let's just, let's just get the beavers going. So I have 11 beavers. Population, no, I have a population of three. Okay, so I'm, I'm still just kind of going around looking at the UI. It looks like there are three. And, all right, so this is, this is the population. How many are free? How many are unhoused? And this is like a common mechanic in city building games that you assign workers to structures. And if they're unassigned, they're just builders. All right. So if I look at my orders, I'll get three more beavers as long as I get the second one. Food, building materials, fuel and exploration. I see. Okay, so this is another thing that happens in games that have a lot of different resources. So this would be like your Dwarf Fortress, your Rim World, where there's subcategorizations of them. So here's the food, and then there's the different kinds of foods. Great. And I'm sure that variety matters for happiness or something like this. Here's building materials. I don't know what parts do. Rare elements used in camp construction. Difficult to produce in this harsh environment. Fuel and exploration. All right, great. Ship me those beavers, baby. All right, let's go ahead and get some humans and a lizard on the job. The main warehouse. Ah, okay, this is our storeroom. Nothing can be sacrificed. Order's ready to complete. All right, so we've done it. We've actually done the best job possible. We've built the things, we're getting the reward, and I am amazing. All right, nice, we have little objectives. Cut through the forest to discover two glades. Assign five beavers to woodcutters, great, easy. Three humans will join, we'll get some meat. Now, if I look at this, wow, one reputation is literally a full unit. So I see these pips down here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. And then I, I assume there's seven failure pips. The queen's impatience is growing. Oh, and every time I hit a new pip of reputation, that's when I get to choose a new building. Ah, okay. Okay, so. Oh, shit. Oh my goodness. So what this means, can we drop any frames? No, hell no. So I understand now that I have an early game selection that will let me get to some spot in time where I unlock more blueprints. Shelter. This requires 10 wood. So I don't know what these, maybe these are entry for Attending. How many people can stay in these? Can accommodate any villager, but won't satisfy the need for species-specific housing. House to be built near hearth can house three residents. So if I look at my thing, we need to house. No, we don't need to do any of that shit. But we should get some. We should get some housing regardless. We have three, six, and three. That is oftentimes twelve. So we're gonna need four of these puppies. What is the button for housing? Is it? H just goes back to my hearth, it looks like. All right. How does the game expect me to be a high APM pro gamer? How do I cancel this? 
Uh, decorations. Okay, great. So let me rotate. I assume there needs to be a little space for walkways, but I'm not not 100%. Oh. Mark trees for harvesting. Oh, shit. We got glades. Oh. Oh. Why would I not want to cut down everything, huh? Too many trees marked? All right, all right. I get it. Old shift wall marking, why? So it's smaller, that's fine. All right, so. So brief, brief rules about backseating for us. Brief rules about backseating for us. We are generally speaking okay with very light suggestions. So for instance, instead of saying hit shift, saying something like, if you hold shift, it will reduce the size of the marking. Like that, that's great. So some, and of course when I have some questions like, wait, 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 does this mean that? Like that sort of thing, awesome spoiling what's coming up or instructing me on good tips and tricks, don't do that shit. I want to suffer. For me, well, I don't even need to say for me, I literally just got done explaining that the thing that made a lot of city building games get boring for me is the fact that over time you would learn and once you learned the pattern, your fun would be kind of done. Your fun would be kind of done. I enjoy the process of doing it wrong, failing, adjusting, doing it a little bit better, but not quite succeeding, and then finally doing it properly later on. I like that experience. So please, don't take my fun away. Don't take my fun away. Found a glade. Got some clay here, great. Nice. Yeah, Faust the Kind says, remember kids, all fun comes from anticipation. It's true. Trigger <sighs> uh, uh, ah, uh. Bob says, can I encourage the usage of the alt key to see all the resources on the map? Uh, that's the sort of thing where that's going into the future a little bit. Right now, I hardly even know how the game works, so like holding this to see this sort of thing. When you say to see all the resources on the map, I prefer to have a statement like, huh, how can I get a better bird's eye view of things? Oh, Sean, hold all, that sort of thing. I will say one of the reasons why I like alt as being here is that alt is very often the informational hotkey in a lot of other games. Give me these things. So I need to build another house right away. Great. Food supplies. All right. Small forger's camp. A small crude version of a specialized camp. It's slower, but can only gather from small nodes. Can collect grain, roots, and vegetables. All right. So... We've gained a reputation, but first things first, let's make sure we have a shelter. And then if I go look at my blueprints, small foragers camp. Perfect. So let's see, this is roads. Oh, paths. Simple path doesn't cost any resources, grants villagers 5% speed. Oh, sick. 
Dude, I'm fucking smart. I know everything that's ever been known. Okay, let's try this. Small foragers camp. So, I don't know if the right way to place this is like this. I assume so. What do we need to do? We need to build... Just build one. Sick. Zephyr, hey, Happy New Year! Says, how are you, my dude? Long time no see. Happy New Year! I wish this to people up until February, if it's the first time I see someone. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, we are we are in early access right now, Geminate. In early access, AF. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I slept like hot garbage last night. In simulation games, you can generally speed shit up. I'm not doing that. I love watching my little gamers go. Yeah, I love this art style retro processor. Ah, yes. Humans love foraging. What about lizards? Nah, lizards I assume are better at mining. Yeah? Oh. Eh? Yeah. Oh. Eh? Um, Zephyr, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I slept like hot garbage last night, but dude, we have a tiny little outdoor spot. And this morning, Cece went out to the outdoor spot and she just lies there and faces the sun and closes her eyes and just goes, hmm. And she just sits there. It was so peaceful. Just looking at my dog doing that. Ah, flax fields, huh? Plant fiber. All right. So I assume that we're gonna do some faux raging. Let's build some roads, gamers. Uh oh. How are you doing, Zephyr? How's your brand new ass year gone? Oops. Oh, it does have this kind of functionality to it. Fuck yeah. Any game that has rain, I adore. I just love the sound of rain. All right, so now we're gonna build a stonecutter's camp. An advanced camp can gather large and giant resource nodes in addition to small ones. Can collect stone, clay, sea marrow. No name the harpy. My dog is Cece, and my cats are Sheriff and Despy. Stonecutter's camp, clay and stonecutter's camp. All right, so. So we have some clay over here, and this, we actually need to cut down some trees to be able to get good access to, huh? Alright. You have too much stuff marked. No, I don't. Stonecutters camp, great. The game is very slowly and very carefully showing me how to do stuff great. And let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. Hold on, let me guess. Let me let me let me put the pieces together. Let me put the pieces together. Okay, let me guess. Okay. Don't don't make me say it. Lizards are good at crafting, huh? Ah? Huh? They're good at getting these clay deposits. Let me guess. They love they love. They can't get enough of this shit. Honey Raptor, I played the game currently for about twenty six minutes. I've played the game for 20 minutes, uh, 26 minutes. I mean, I've talked for 16 minutes and played the game for about 10. Blue Wall. Our main man from Switzerland. How you doing? I'm overall feeling pretty, pretty nice. Nothing can be sacrificed yet. 
running low on building materials. I see. So this up and down, this is actually a really cute interface. Um, I genuinely believe... Um, I genuinely believe that most of city building, strategy, RTS, most of them have, I don't know, at least 50% of the game is in the UI UX and how it is presented. Because so much of these games is processing information and making decisions. And the fact that it's visually represented is very pleasing. But if I don't really know the impact of what I'm doing, it sucks. And this idea of I'm, I am earning more than I am spending than I'm spending. And that's what this up arrow means. I think this meat is going up. Roots are going down. And I really like how this information has presented itself so far. My little lizard's building. They're so cute. But Who are the dudes in the top left corner? I have humans. I have beavers, and I have lizards. So, actually, now that I know a little bit more about the game, I see this. An adaptable species, but very susceptible to the rain. Humans are adept at farming and really enjoy brewing. And they have keyword images. Beavers gifted at woodworking and enjoy engineering. Hardworking and honest, but also quite demanding. What a fucking beaver. Lizards. Lizards are excellent as politicians. Uh, very resilient and distrustful. They're very good with animals and meat production. Prefer to work in warm environments due to their cold-blooded nature. Like meat and fire. So they're actually probably not great at this, huh? Oh my god. Set myself up for a failure. I guess beaver the best civil engineers we have. Damn right, salad one. Sure. The lizards will get our clay. I'm curious, what happens if we remove all of these? Oh, they just chop what's nearby anyways. Fuck yeah, someone plays city building games. I like that, man. I like that a lot. I, uh, I am dating your dad. Says, so wait, are the lizard people really in charge? Well, because they canceled it in season two, we'll never know. Ah? Eh? Ah? Eh? Uh, fuck it up. But your grant says, what's a good one sentence description of this game? Uh, I haven't played it enough to be able to do that. I haven't played it enough to be able to do that. Yeah, I really enjoyed Inside Job a lot. But my understanding of this game is that it, it is a roguelike city builder. So I'm going to be building up this area. And then I hit a victory when I filled this all the way up. And then it puts me into another thing. So you can see how there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pips. So I'm on three. How do I get to the fourth one? Well, I complete this objective, which is to get this many stone cutters camps, this much clay. And then I get steel shovels and I get one reputation. So let me get this. So you can see that reputation has gone up one. That's good stuff. And when you go up in reputation, you get to choose a new blueprint. An advanced camp. Can gather large and giant resource nodes in addition to small ones. Can collect plant fiber and read. All right, so here is. All right, looks like my road systems are bad. Why not? But, uh, uh, Rudyard, I, I've not really played that much. And I'm not speeding it up because I love watching my gamers work. Roger Grant says, chat, where and how much do I buy this game? Uh, on Steam, 20 bucks. Bought my copy this morning. Okay, so I realized that I have not read a lot of these helper menus that have popped up. And let me just scoot my booty in a little bit. Every building has its own internal storage where produce and gather goods are temporarily stored. When the internal storage reaches its limit, the goods will 
in it will be transported to the main warehouse by a worker. While transporting, it's important to keep in mind that villagers have a limited carry capacity, so they might need to walk between their workplace and the main warehouse multiple times. Every few minutes, workers will take breaks and return to a nearby hearth to eat, rest, and probably get a little bit toasty. During a break, they'll continue at least one, or they'll consume at least one item of food and try to fulfill all their needs, clothing, and services. <laughs> Uh, if a villager has multiple needs tied to complex food, they will consume more than one meal. Goods kept in the building's internal storage are inaccessible to other villagers or production buildings. Okay, so so the idea is it looks like my my overall evaluation of how I'm doing is really not... It's just what's here in my main warehouse. So we see these little villagers going back and forth. Oh, yeah, I need it. So, what do lizards like doing? They like meat production? All right. I would like one human and one human. I see. I see. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I think I've decided. We're scooting us. Yeah. Where, where, where can my where can my branding live in this game? Where can my branding live? Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna try to see if I can get this thing to snap to grid. Why is it not snapping? Hold on, hold on. We need we need to change our snap settings. Uh, let's do ba -ba -da -ba -ba, general enable. Yeah, I mean, it, snapping's enabled. Great. All right. This is the game. Perfect. Actually, let me, you know, let me just scoot it way over because, like, we're getting yet more notifications in here. There, now it's snapped. Thank, thank goodness. Sub notification, and perfect. Perfect! Oh, snapped. Doesn't it just look kludgy there? Kludgy and clunky and clumsy. All right, well. Man, I'm fucking devastated. Now that covers that up. Oh, this is terrible. This covers up down here in the bottom left. Hmm. I mean, we we actually we're, we're screwed. All right, so let's let's try this. What about right? What about right here? What about like this, huh? All right, now quickly, someone subscribe. Let's see if the subscription looks great. Let's see if the subscription looks great. Quickly, someone renew. Looks clean. Looks like you, Ritashi, too. Clean as a jelly bean. All right, so... Now, is this their demands, or is this what they are capable at? This is what they're capable at. All right, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna accept this. I think they're bringing stuff with them. Harvester's camp, plant fibers, great. Looks like they're bringing the resources. Good stuff. Good stuff. I fucking love city builders, man. Osmodium says, Subarino, hell yeah. What's your favorite city builder? Ask Craid. Um, my favorite city builder... Probably Banished. Alright, what do we need to do? 
planks in crude workstation, bricks in crude workstation, fabric in crude workstation. Got it. So if I come down here, crude workstation. Probably like right here, huh? Uh, Docs and West have been loving Timberborn lately. Timberborn, I, I enjoyed. I think the idea of like being able to increase and decrease the water levels is crazy. You know, it's it's kind of crazy to me. Like, I consider city building games to be one of my favorite genres of games, but only if there's actual challenges associated with it. Like, City Skylines, I think, is a brilliant game, but I, I'm not... I don't like it as much as I like Banished, where I can lose. I don't like it as much as Timberborn, where there's, like, engineering problems to solve. Alright, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and get our newcomers in here. So let's see here. So this I can turn on or off to ask for certain things to be made. So this is eight. What is this? So we can... Let's see here. I can use plant fiber for making fabric. Could also use six leather, six reeds. I can use clay to make bricks, or I can use stone to make bricks. Interesting. Okay. Well, what does it want me to make? It just wants me to make one of each of those. And rewards, I get some more construction material. 50% amount of goods. All right. Oh, Frostpunk was... Actually, Frostpunk, if someone said to me, Sean, I want a city builder game, what do you recommend? I'd say Frostpunk. I think that might be it. Let me tell you, this, this mood is S plus for me. This mood is perfect. Rain, lightning, really atmospheric, gentle, ambient music. I mean, this is just... Gorgeous. So I need to build another woodcutter here to dig through these glades. Huh. Mark trees for harvest. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't need to, but I suppose that I will. I don't want to do this yet because it seems like it's dangerous. Uh. So if I marked like this. I'd probably need to build a woodcutter's camp here. Oops, I always forget to click that. Very intuitive, right click to close. Oh, there's a move button here. That's a little weird. Who knows what I think about that? I just, I just move it. Oh, we're storming. Oh, we're storming, baby. Camps have wheels? Oh, they sure do. All right, all right, I buy it. Houses don't. Yeah, they do. Oh, that's kind of interesting. That costs five wood. These can't be moved. This can be moved for free. Oh, that now that is interesting. I mean, this is very different than the traditional logic. Oh, why, why are you sad? All right, whatever. Huh. All right, Stormbird Nest. 
We got eggs. Alright, let me remove one of these so we can build the path. That's interesting, because now, now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, like, shifting my stuff around. I'm shifting my... It's not that I necessarily... I mean, the way that lumber camps have worked in other games is you build a lumber camp to get lumber, and then eventually your efficiency goes out the window, or you can't chop the area that you need to, so you build another one. So you have to kind of plan things out, and there you go. Um, but this is cute in that it feels like it's more throughput-based. Throughput as in, I need to have, say, two foragers camps, because I need these two foragers camps to be getting me, you know, two camps worth of food per hour, that sort of thing. Look at them go. Oh, this is so cute. You can actually see exactly what they're working on. Wow. Sick. Oh, hostility of the fort. People are growing more anxious. Huh. Huh. All right. Oh, what a little guy. Uh, what's this? She's a cornerstone. No one can weather the storm alone. The queen offers you a cornerstone that will lay the foundation for your town's prosperity. Choose wisely as you won't be able to change it. All right, building materials. Uh, fishing quicker in the crude workstation, great. The Royal Academy wants a detailed map of the region. We'll supply anyone willing to help. Gain 20 reed and 20 clay for each discovered glade. I'll just do the one that gets me more money. All right, I'm doing great. We're doing it. We're fibering the plants. We're fibering. How serious of an RTS is this? I would not call this an RTS. I, I actually delineate. Uh, for me, an RTS is it needs to be an unpausable game. There needs to be construction and there needs to be combat. Like, they are billions. I would not consider an RTS. Because in that game, you can pause. Oh. Give me the glades. Toby says a total annihilation isn't an RTS. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you doing? What are you? Oh my god. So wait a minute, day nine. Total Annihilation is literally an RTS because you can't pause it in a multiplayer game. You're building a bunch of stuff up. It's possible. Dude, proper multiplayer game. There's a difference. Okay, let me, let me be really clear. Any game with an escape menu means you can pause it, right? Fuck no, man. What I mean is that in They Are Billions, you can halt the progression of time and still do construction. Here I've halted the progression of time and I can still do things like layout paths like this. You can play the game with the time of the game being paused. That's what I'm talking about, man. I am dating your dad. Says, I mean, in StarCraft, you can pause three times. Kappa, 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 Kappa. Crackers, you cannot pause in Dark Souls. It is truly the RTS of our time. Oh my god, I am being so deliberately misheard here, and I am gonna just take the bait. You don't have city building in Dark Souls, you don't control an army in Dark Souls, and those were three things. That's one of the, part of the list. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Day9 TV. If you can't pause the game, it's an RTS. Mario, RTS. <laughs> Candy Crush Saga, yeah, you know, it's an RTS, yeah, yeah. 
This game? No, it's not an RTS. Uh-uh, no sir, no. Taking a dump? That's an RTS, oh yeah. Oh my god. XCOM is an RTS. That's what I'm talking about, Crix Maidine. You know what? Nothing's an RTS. Can we just agree to that? StarCraft is not an RTS. There's no such thing as an RTS. Are we all happy? Good. Objective. Cut through the forest to discover dangerous or forbidden glades. Change the resource from spark due to fabric. In the ancient shrine in front of the dangerous glade. Alright, well, let's... Fuck it, dude. Where's my woodmans? Alright, so... Let's go ahead and move you. Is, is M the hotkey? Oh, shit. Oh no. Hey, Aki says the limit of some games approach RTS. I uh, I mean I'm literally gonna Mods ban everyone from the chat. Also, what do you mean? Alright, we're cutting in. Get him, get him, Phantom Varies, get him. So let me, let me actually attempt to be sincere about this in some way. Let me just, like, marginally baby step my way into this shit, okay? I feel like um, there's a number of genres that don't quite mean anything in a nice, robust way. So if you said to me an open-world RPG, that seems better to define to me than what's a Metroidvania? What's a Souls-like game? What is... I think RTS kind of falls into that category. Because um, some games are so fundamentally tied to specific mechanics. So a, a game that has a first-person shooter perspective. Yeah, if you say, oh yeah, it, it's, a, it's a shooter. It's a class-based shooter. Oh, you have classes. That's a mechanic. You aim and shoot. That's a mechanic. Whereas like RTS games or Souls-like, or Metroidvania, there's these kind of amorphous feelings that we're trying to reference in them. And so, like, in an RTS space, what I would say is, oh, no builders available. Oh, I don't, I don't give a shit. Oh, yeah, I need to choose, choose a blueprint. Human house, a lizard house, a beaver house. Well, I like beavers more than I like people, so let's go ahead and get that shit going. Tis a beaver house. Work nearby where you live. It's a capitalist's dream! Alright, well, we don't need any fucking food here, that's for sure. Let's get that guy out of there. Because cause RTSs for me... Here, here's the thing about RTSs. RTSs for me is about capturing the following. Multiple mini-games happening at the same time in a real-time setting. And that feeling of like glancing around at different things and like trying to manage and do a little bit of this and do a little bit of that and do a little bit of this and do a little bit of that. That feels, that makes the feel of an RTS. That's why Plants vs. Zombies is not a traditional um, RTS. You don't build the base and build the army, but it, it feels RTS-y because you're, you're tapping and collecting the sun and like building the... You know, you're, 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 you're clicking on the sun and you're planting the plants. You're looking at your plant cooldowns. Um, Overcooked, I feel like, is a game that would never be described intentionally as an RTS that I feel like gives the emotional sensation that is very similar to an RTS. I would say that um, uh, Offworld Trading Company is an RTS in its literal description, but it doesn't have combat. How does it how does it cause that RTS feeling? Because there's multiple mini games and managing multiple resources and you're constantly trading in real time on the open market and all this sort of stuff. Except. So this this is why, for instance, I want to delineate between like mechanics and genre names and then emotional feelings. Because Planes vs. Zombies, from a mechanics perspective, we would say it is a tower defense game. Oh, does this game have fucking chromatic aberration? Oh, get out of here. What are the other things that it has? Oh, I 
hate this shit. I hate this shit so much. But for any of you who don't know what chromatic aberration is, allow me to use MS Paint. So, um, there's a sort of artifact of um, when you would have, like, a line on an old monitor where the way that it was showing color is you had red and green and blue lights shining into pixels, and then they would mix. Those lights would mix together to make a color. But you obviously can't have a red and a blue and a light all coming out at the exact same location, so they would actually be spread a little bit. And what you would get is you would get, like, uh, let's imagine we zoomed in really far and looked at the line that was on the screen. Can't get any bigger than that, huh? You know, I'm just going to do like this. Here. If you looked at, like, a line really up close, you would see along the edge... Stop freezing. Stop freezing, you fuck. You'd see, like, a little bit of, like, red, and you'd see, like, a little bit of green here. And you see like a little bit of blue down here. So this this kind of thing was a result of the specific way in which light was being represented on old monitors. Um, you know, like, like bubble monitors and stuff like that. And um, this is where I'm going to stop sharing information and start sharing opinions. And so some fucking clowns and some fucking art department went, wait a fucking minute, why don't we just fucking put chromatic aberration in every fucking game that fucking exists? Let's chromatically aberrate some shit. Oh, I know, motion blur is something. Does this happen with the human eye or with camera lenses? I don't give a shit. I'm gonna force it into this fucking game. Depth of field? Yeah, you, you have an eyeball and so does the game's camera. It's got a fucking eyeball in it. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Makes me furious. Pedermann says, this is not what chromatic aberration means in my world. Is it not? Am I crazy? No, I'm fucking correct. Yeah, this, this, this fucking thing. Where through, through, it bends the light out like that. Is it not? Is it not as a result? Oh, 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 is it not a result of the of the triple display thing? So, so, am I crazy? Patrick Mendes says no, they didn't do it on purpose. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean, Patrick Mendes? What do you mean they didn't do it on purpose? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean some bastards were just like, dude, let's put chromatic aberration on things. See, I turn it on, I turn it off, I turn it on, I turn it off, I turn it on, I turn it off. Oh, RoboJumper says, it's the result of the refraction index varying with wavelength. Oh, that's right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. Okay, so I'm I'm like 40% correct. The important thing, the important thing, Patrick Mende, is that um, some bastard came along, not in this game, but in games everywhere, and we're like, I know, depth of field, I know, chromatic aberration, there we go. It's not good, it's not good, it's 51% correct. Okay, so so I have my terminology difference. What, what's it called with the way that old um, LEDs used to have, like, the, the triple red, green, blue light? diodes that would mix together and the, and the negative effect from that. It's a beaver house. How many beavers do I have? I have eight fucking beavers. Holy shit. An ominous shrine from a long forgotten era. That's still how LED screens work. What I mean is there was a negative graphical impact of doing that, and I got the name of it wrong. I thought that that was called chromatic aberration. But I'm fucking wrong, dude. All right, so let's 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 return back to the game. Change the resource from spark due to fabric. Um, uh, you can find in the dangerous forbidden glades.
So I need to input these resources to output this reward. Got it. Disturbing the ruins of the Great Civilization. Kills three random villagers. What? Oh my god. Hell yeah. Slay the babies. Huh. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, this simple tool is bad. We need we need to make something else. So, Blade events, sure. These are like really cool. All right. So, I guess we don't have this, or do we have this somewhere? I have all this shit. Planks? Oh, we just haven't made this shit? Resting by the fire? Fucking kill me, man. Or kill these three. Who knows? So I don't care about these yet. I don't care about these. What I care about is these, these lazy fucking beavers. Makes make me some planks, babies. Oh shit. Alright, we lost a lizard, we lost a forager, we lost a scout. Alright, five more minutes. Got it. All right, so let's let's see. How do we get this puppies fired up? So we, we did this replacement. We actually already have enough wood. Okay, so there we go. There we go. But anyways... I'm a big believer in that there is a difference between the mechanics description of a genre being, oh, this is a tower defense game, versus, um, all right, let me. All right, all, all of a sudden, everyone's starting to backseat. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna clear chat, go on sub mode for maybe 10 minutes, get everyone to just back off a little bit. But I think there's a, um, a difference emotionally speaking between what are the raw mechanics of the game? Is it a tower defense? Is it a shooter? So on and so forth. Versus, ah yes, this game might have city building. It might have making of an army, but it doesn't create any of those RTS style feels. So. Queen's getting quite impatient with me. And let me say, um. Generally speaking, I'm actually going to change the backseating rules to no backseating today. Sometimes we're somewhere in between, like with Project Zomboid is a good example. But um, when I was pausing and when I was kind of looking, when I was kind of asking, huh, how does this work? How does that work? Generally speaking, that's rhetorical. Generally speaking, that's rhetorical. Unless I go, hey, chat, how does this fucking thing work? Tell me right now. That's, that's me actually requesting. We're gonna go ahead and kill sub mode, so. Because again, when I am saying, wait, how does this work? I'm not really asking a question so much as I am doing my job and communicating what's going on in my head. 
It's me stating where my head is out aloud. And I see these. I'm not going to do anything about moving them because it appears that I've almost won. Is this an RTS? I would not call this an R uh, RTS. I would call this a city builder so far. Oh, this game also has a um, demo. Oh, lord, they come. I suppose we could move this. You guys collect eggs? Uh-oh, it's storm o'clock. I know. I know what I'm doing, video game. Has no... nothing nearby. So these gamers were getting clay. What is this for? Plant fiber and reeds? Whoops. I have no builders. Great. Apo Koala, good to see you, man. How are you doing? Apo Koala. Apo Koala. And I have done it. Oh, I need to bring this back here, huh? So, so the resources. The resources that I produce, they need to be brought back before they count. So, look at guys, I just got here, so this might be a stupid question. What makes this a roguelike city builder? I haven't played enough to be able to answer that question outside of, hold on, hold on. Hold on, stay here. Stay here. Oh my god, that has my address on the screen. Okay, that's that's a relief. That's a relief. That's there. Um, storm. Boom. Here, here's how I know this. So if I look, it's, it says it right there. Roguelite. That's how I know. Hmm? Hmm? That's, that's, that's as much as I know right now. So you and I will learn together. Alright, where, where's, how do I change my Steam? Oh, goodness, Steam, you're killing me. Steam is scary, because you can just, like, click a button, it's like, here's your home, ad home address. Like, oh! It doesn't say RTS, so it's settled. There it is. Alright, settlement complete. Village has been secured, but there's one more test of your skills. Bing, ding, bong, bang, bing. Press any key to start. <gasps> Time to call tech support and ask, where's the any key? Ah. <sighs> excellent, excellent. Oh, nice. Villagers below resolve will start leaving, increasing the queen's impatience. Oh, shoot. Keeping resolve exceptionally high will grant passive reputation over time. Ah. 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 Satisfying your villagers' needs with complex food, homes, and services will increase their resolve. Okay, so that's how this works. Yeah, I mean... I think that, like, one of the things that I always found a little bit annoying about some of the requirement systems in city building games is all connected back to that idea of how do you make the game interesting once you have solved the problem. So again, the city building problem I always encounter is I play a city building game, I need to make sure I'm managing garbage and happiness and food and population and all this other stuff, and then I'm like too days into playing and I'm like, oh, okay, this is the strategy. And then I'm done. 
And so what some city building games do, like Surviving Mars that we played on stream many, many years back, Surviving Mars kind of had these tiers of resources where you'd have like iron and ore and electricity and you'd be trying to make a power grid. And then you would build a dome for humans to be in. And then inside the dome, there were a new set of resources of food and jobs and tasks and yada, 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 yada. Um, and so this idea of like, you need to diversify things to make them happy. How do you actually motivate that for me? How do you make me actually give a shit? And this game goes, oh, you have a win bar and a lose bar. And if you're doing a good job, it's going to fill your win bar. And if you're doing a bad job, your lose bar is going to go. It's just such a clean, clear, excellent, great mechanic. Yeah, Ikari and I have a bunch of RimWorld uploaded to the YouTubes. Each species has a different mix of needs. Hard to please everyone all at one time. So if I... What the fuck? Ah, there, there's the arrow. Okay. Farmers can plant only on farm fields, and those can only be built on fertile soil. <laughs> Crops are planted in the forest. In the first season, drizzle. And harvested during the second clearance. Build a farm, harvest grain, and serve some ale in the tavern. All right. Your noun grows. You can now choose from one of the available blueprints. Farm, vegetables, and grain. All right, so I will build. Huh. Wait, so if I build a farm field... Okay, so I will then, like that. I've done it. All right, so I'm just going to ring around the hearthy. Oh, shit. All right, I blocked it. It's fine. Oh, I have all of the ones that I had before. Holy shit. All right. Reputation points. Yeah, no, I, th I think I'm good on this. What am I looking at? Oh, it's up here. Okay. Why can I not? Hmm. Okay, so here's paths. So we have a uh, warehouse trading post. Camps. Where's the home? Where's the home? Where's the... No housing. None at all. No housing, not even a little bit. Oh my God. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not gonna cry. Um. All right, so let's see here. And so as a question for anyone who knows this games more than me, when I open this up, I wanna go to the orders, but it seems like it's not giving it to me and I was using that as my guidance. Well, whatever. Cut towards these glades, gamer. You just don't get order for this part of the tutorial? Gross. I feel naked. These guys fucking love farming, man. They love it. They're obsessed with it. There we go, thank goodness. Shelter, great. Cool, I'll get my shelter.
What's my population at? All right. So this is flax fields. Let's go ahead and make a harvester's camp. Oh, give me, give me, it's beaver, it's beaver time. All right, perfect, perfect, cool. Choose a cornerstone. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Barrel delivery line. Plus we the amount of goods produced in the small farm. Or five barrels per minute. I don't know. I'll do barrel delivery line. Seems cool. There we go. Now I have access to this. So we need to get some woodcutters camps. We need to get some shelters up. All right. Seems fine. Seems fine. Gonna max out that BPM, baby. All right. Assign more woodcutters. Oh, get out of here. You want me to assign humans to this? They're so bad at it, though. Uh, 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 uh. All right, I, I'm peeling one human off the job. This human stinks. Actually, we're going to put a human back on the job, and we're going to take this one off the job. Bam. So that way, this human will actually start building some stuff. Lazy guy. Oh, my God, look at him go. Oh, my God, it's like having, like, little beetles that are doing work. They're so sweet. I'm never, never going to 3X today. Not a chance. With how much I talk, mm-mm. By the way, I see some people talking about The Last of Us. No spoilers. Don't even talk about The Last of Us in this channel. Don't even say a word about it. Not even one. I don't want to hear it. The Last of Who? Damn right, April Koala. By the way, about the delivery, April Koala, give me, give me a month. Give me a month. I'm setting, setting up a little delivery address. Small Trapper's Camp. Ah, great. Together from small nose can collect meat, insects, and eggs. Meat. All right, so now what I will say is I've looked around. I see no meat. Does it just keep fucking going? Holy shit, actually. This is this is gigantic. Dude, it's Glade City up here, dude. Holy shit. Oh my God, there's so many glades. Rachel Love says, can we talk about the first of me instead of the last of us? Oh my God. Killing the game right now. Uh, but no, if you ever talk about anything at any point for any reason in this channel ever, you're banned. Ooh, Crick's Mating says, don't watch The Last of Us. They're going to release an HD remaster in a year anyways. Oh! Hey, what what is the smallest HD um, or re remaster gap between the launch of a game and its remaster? What's, like, the smallest gap there's ever been? I'm building little houses. We're having fun. Barrels. Dude, we're making so fucking many barrels. It's crazy. Brood War and Brood War HD? What? Brood War and Brood War HD was... 19 years. Yeah, like... Oh shit, I need the harvesters. Lizard. Voila! I have just a beaver for the job. Yeah, like, what, what, what's, the, what's the shortest gap between it? The Horizon Zero Dawn one coming out? They're doing a remaster, really? How do we feel about the storm? Uh, fading at the edges? Right now I'm having fun, but I'm really curious to see how it grows and expands. Ah, yes, perfect. So now I want to build this small trapper's camp. Get 
path from here. Something like that. Chop down this tree, please. Quest for Glory 1989 remake was released three years later in 1992. That's pretty sick. Ooh, Marvel Spider-Man and Marvel Spider-Man Remastered 2018 versus 2020. That might actually be it. Two years? Damn. Uh-oh, we got, we got glades. We got eggs. So lizards love meat production. They love that shit. Humans? Baladon. Do we have any builders? We don't have a sing. We have, we have two lizard builders. That's pretty sick. Okay. Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider Definitive Edition was 10 months. What? Oh my god, that's fucking so funny. What, what I mean, what even was the difference? You, you can't even get anything done in nine months, man. Alright. Lizards. What? Ooh. Nice. All right. Newcomers. These people have been sent here by the crown. Which group do we want? I want this group. All right. We need the meats. How's this game? Yeah, no, I know a lot of people have been having this one on their wish list, been asking me to play it. People have played it. Say, Sean, you'd love this. And there you go. Unholy LP pieces Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin were 13 months apart. I don't think that was a remaster. Scholar of the First Sin is the name of the game plus its new DLC. So that feels that feels fine to me. Oh my god, look at their little hats. They're so sweet. I have not played this game enough yet to make a recommendation either way. Because right now I'm just kind of doing what it's telling me to do. And I'm hitting some small problems, which is kind of contextualizing the importance of doing shit. Alright, so we... I see. So this is crafting, this is fuel, this is food. This is meat, this is meat. Okay. Do Doom ports count as remasters? No. Definitely no. Deliver, deliver, here it comes. Deliver your stuff. There's force delivery now. I wanna get this done. Chaos Nuke says, it's crazy to think the time of expansions to games is over. Now since games are mostly downloaded digitally, the short DLCs have completely replaced it. Just imagine if StarCraft was released today. We've gotten one race per DLC, like SC2. Um, what do you mean by that, Chaos Nuke? Where, can I, can, can these guys deliver the damn meat? What, what is happening here? Insect isn't meat. 
It's not fucking meat? Are you... That shit isn't meat? I mean, it's sitting here talking about... Oh my god. Only meat is meat. Insects are not meat. Fucking, that's the gamest statement I've ever heard. Um, what, what, what do I, what do I need for meat? Oh, shit. Look at these. Slick shell broodmother small. All right. I see, that symbol is different. I thought meat was a super class. Why not? I thought meat was a super class. Because I thought that eggs were a kind of meat. How foolish must I look? Oh, I see. This is the percentage chance of bonus. So if I harvest here, I get meat, and I, it's 20% chance that I get folded back fat. What is this? Leather. Sure. Yeah, B for B sources. Is the button. All right. Give me that meat. Oh, I got I got two meats. Uh, 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 uh. Crack boom. But uh, yeah, like so so Chaos New coming back to your statement like I the expansion is dead. Um I I think that's a good thing. And let me be specific with what I mean. Expansions are obviously not dead. That's an overstatement, but I think that the notion of we've released the game and then here's some more of the game. You get the game again. I think that's great. I think that's positive. I love that um, with Dark Souls, there's the main Dark Souls game and then there was this beautiful line with uh, Artorias. Actually, what was the name of the DLC in Dark Souls? I don't remember. But either way, I think the notion of full-fledged expansions suck. I think it sucks. Yeah, I, I know Ulusil was the name of the village. Was it Artorius of the Abyss? So good. All right, that, that took a long-ass time. Let's get it. Get a smokehouse to produce jerky. Enable meat in the jerky recipe. Produce that jerky. All right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I personally think that that's great. I think that's terrific. But that's the way games are going. And I think labeling it as DLC versus labeling it as an expansion is a little bit of semantics. All right. So we're going to change this, change, th what, what, wait, what? Oh, I see it's in gray. And if I do this, it's a combo of two things. Got it. I remember when SC2 came out, I was so disappointed that there was only one race for the campaign, even though it was a pretty lengthy campaign. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that the release model of... What? Um, 
Okay, here's an actual question. What does this mean? Why is my land sparkling? What are these land stars? What is this? It's been fertilized, so I don't do anything. Oh, okay. All right, it's just good. It's just good land. All right, cool. That's just how it looks. Lizard. Lizard. Oh shit, man. It's lizard o'clock over here. So I want to see what this UI looks like when I have this one emptied and I hold alt. It'll actually it gives me that right there. So I could do this and assign like this. Wow, this UI is fucking killer. Oh, killer! I'm gonna refill my water. Oh, choose a cornerstone. Thank you. Grain bags. Sounds like a nice insult. <laughs> uh, more brewery stuff. A specialized grain farming techniques. Grain production increased by plus one every 25 times is produced. Great. Grain bags. Sup, grain bags? <laughs> Alright, getting some water. I'm gonna open this up. He opens the green screen. He sits down from the green screen. He reaches over. He shuts the green screen. Where's my jerky production? Oh, no and no. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do this shit. But yeah, I mean, like, the, the, for me, there is basically only one way. Or, like, I, I don't like the model of expansions, generally, because I feel like... With the way technology works... The amount of, con like, to make content is really, really hard when you are making 3D assets and 3D environments. It's just fucking really, really hard. So often, I know companies have just gone, all right, well, if it's going to take us, like, a year and a half to make all this content for the expansion, let's just make a sequel. There you go. And design the game as a sequel. So... As a result, if there is something that it can be done really small and efficiently, because I know that, like, when it comes to expansion content, it's pretty common to have a 50% attach rate. Harvesters can't. Oh, no. Uh, B. For the B sources. All right. So now I'm gonna make a wood wood choppers thing. So it's like, okay, if we if we want to put in a lot of effort to make a really good expansion, then we should probably just make a sequel. If we have a small enough thing that it feels efficient enough then great. We'll just make a tiny DLC. And that to me just seems like sensible decision making more than anything else. Uh -huh. All right. And what is this? Pottery? Incense? Holy shit, there's a lot of resources. And so I know that, like, MMOs are one of the only ones that consistently use the term expansion. I think it makes sense. All right, we want to make some ale. Enable barrels in the ale recipe. Ale and brewery. Hell yeah, we get barrels. We get stuff. Nice. All right. 
So let's go ahead and make a brewery. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this path out here. I'm going to click on this. Make the brewery. This is kind of like our... Uh, oh, that's a woodcutter's camp. Whoops. What is the moving cost of this thing? I can't move it? All right. So, grain pottery. No, let's not do it in pots. And how else would I make the barrels? Probably there would be some sort of... What do you think this is? Who knows? Who knows? I really don't think I even need this thing. All right, we got a Glade. Hell yeah. Dr. L Dr. Luau says, this game is very cozy until it becomes an intrusive thought in your brain. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, all right, so we have the brewery. We're still building that, but let's go ahead and deallocate some of these humans here. Bam. Because we're going to need to get some brewing going. Humans really enjoy brewing? Great, 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 great. Yeah, but like MMOs seem like one of the last places where expansions really make sense. And declaring that it is an expansion, like that sort of thing. So we've got the barrels in there, grains and barrels. This interface is just amazing. Am I am I low on food? Oh whatever. Could be Dota and just have patch day. Yeah, I mean like the the, the terms are kind of getting blended together. They don't really mean that much anymore. I think that like intuitively kind of know that. It means that it's a, kind of a smaller continuation of the gameplay if it's a DLC. You understand that it's a big drop of gameplay when you say it's an expansion. Yeah, this art style reminds me of Warcraft 3 so much. The exaggerated, blocky, almost uh, action figure-like look to things. Because, like, if you, if you think about Reaper of Souls, that was, like, positioned as a sort of relaunch point for the entire game. Newcomers. Let's get some humans. They like brewing shit. Yeah, and I also think it has something to do with just, like, consumer behavior, where consumers were buying less expansions and buying more new games. And then people got internet, so the ability to small DLC became interesting enough that people were willing to spend another $10 on a game they loved, but they weren't willing to spend $60 on a sequel, necessarily. Or, excuse me, they, weren't, they were willing to spend $10 for a tiny chunk of game, but they weren't willing to spend, like, $60 for a large expansion. You played Majesty? Great game. I didn't play back in the day. I've never heard of Maj Majesty, Ben K. Or maybe I have. I actually don't know who I am or what I think. What are these? Bleeding Tooth Mushrooms? Interesting. Let me actually look at some of these. So these are... Okay, so... What what is huh So are these the positive effects and these are the negative effects or are these just a, a pile of positives So these are all positives They like lizard housing, they like skewers, 
they're religious. They, they like fighting. <laughs> Pickled goods and pie. Fuck yeah, dude. All right. All right, so they're kind of the same thing. They like biscuits. Beavers like biscuits. They like pickled goods. They love luxury, let me tell you. If you give a beaver some furs, oh, it's so fucked up. It loops all the way back around and the beaver is happy again. All right, education. Yeah, they love being smart and just just absolutely Eldar, man. Lysure. All right. Wow, I didn't realize how... Fucking pampered beavers were, man. Look at that. All right. Uh, pie, clothing, leisure. Oh, I actually... We have nine and five... Uh, we have 20, so we actually, like, literally don't have enough homes. Well. All right. So this is the tutorial. I no longer care. <laughs> Venomary says, I'm a beaver for sure. Education, drinking, luxury, biscuits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, let me tell you, I'm like straight beaver. I am not a lizard. I am not interested in skewers, jerky, pie, pickled goods, brawling, and religion. Yeah, not, I'm interested in battle the first half of those. All right, so what do we do? What do we do? I think we just go to our order and we say we did it, yeah. Tavern... Need for leisure fulfilled. All right, let's make this shit. Let me tell you, this is this is the kind of disorganization that I thrive on. Clay deposit large woodcutters camp. We're gonna go ahead and move you. Camps. Mm, harvester's camp. Nope. Stonecutter's camp. Yes. Beep boop 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 bump bum. Great. You ever played any Anno games? I played Anno 1800. The small trapper's camp has no deposits nearby. Wouldn't you know it? We have two humans that are going to be helping build and brew and all that good stuff for me and you. <laughs> you know, and I was talking about this a little bit when I was playing Project Zomboid, that, like, we have done two missions. There's not that much... Okay, so what there are single-player games that I have played where after two hours, I'm like... 20% done with everything the developers made. Like, stray. And in this game, you have these little systems that are repeating, that are slowly escalating. Fabric. So we actually need to make a crude workshop, huh? Nice. going so this symbol probably means we're lacking construction materials nice yeah like with project zomboid i can play for like six hours and it's an interesting mix of spikes of intensity extreme chill and everything in between and it just takes a lot of time to play out and i really like that in this game i'm finding it very pleasing and relaxing to just watch the game just play out you know what? you li you live over here now Oh, 
Oops. Great, so I personally felt like Stray ran out of ideas five minutes into the game rather than two hours. I feel like that game was great for two hours or so, like great. Cannibalism? Hell yeah. More meat production? More meat from every yield? Let's let's maybe do this. Let's maybe let's maybe try to stop this from being a problem. Instead of leaning into the fact that it's probably gonna be a problem, huh? I can also imagine that post tutorial. No builders available? Get out of here. What do I not need? I don't even need that many. Thomas Casey's, but everyone would have complained it was too short. It's really only two and two and a half hours long, even though it would have been a more solid package. Let me rephrase. I, I, I It would be incorrect to interpret what I'm saying as this game really should have stopped at two to two and a half hours. Um... Rather, I really wish that they had a more limited scope of mechanics that they explored more deeply and more richly rather than what they did do, which seemed like they just came out of left fucking field and came at us hard. Beaver. Beaver. Pablito Corros says, bro, I'm new, only asking, were you the first Twitch streamer? Bruh. Bro, I mean like, dude. Yeah, bro. Alongside of, like, 20 or so others. I think Dan's Gaming was also a part of that. JP and DJ Wheat definitely were. Uh, what can Harvey, they can get plant, fiber, and reed. Have you seen any plant fiber or reed? Yeah, just listening to you talk old games remind me how much you liked Earth Defense Force 2017, then I saw I have a nine part playthrough of it. Wait, I do? I do? Wait. What? Wait. How? Where? How? I don't think I played that. I don't think I've ever played it on air. But I should. But I fucking should. I should get my Xbox 360 back up. I played Earth Defense Force 5 on air for a day, I think. Or did I play Earth Defense Force 4? Yeah, no, it's EDF 4.1. Ha ha! I fucking got you! Yeah, Earth Defense Force 2017 is not an Earth Defense Force game released in 2017. That is an Earth Defense Force game that was released in the 2000s set in the year 2017, which, as we know, was a shitty year. Bro. Bro, you're just crazy in the coconut, man. You are melting my mind. What's this shit? Small abandoned cache? I will send my humans after it. But dude, you know, I fucking love Earth Defense Force. I love that shit. I love it. Earth Defense Force is the greatest. Alright, so... Human, human, and then we can... I think I can do like this. Put a human in there. Earth Defense Force 2017 rules. When was that released? Earth Defense Force 2017. It was released in 2006. Jesus. Wait. What? That game was released fucking almost 20 years ago?
Ah. Jesus. What the fuck? I'm scared. I'm scared to go look at the rest of my favorite games list because I, I, I don't really have that many modern games. Wow. Oh, yeah. Earth Defense Force 5 is great. That's crazy. I thought the game was released, like, deep into the 2010s. And then I started to, like, time match in my head, and I was like, no, 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 no. Happened sooner than that. Every evening, a gleeman tells stories about past glories and times for the Great Civil War. Same building effects do not stack. All right, great. Do I need two humans in this? Oh. All right, I see. One is enough, but works slower. Was a filthy capitalist, then I really think that, that one worker just needs to step up to the plate and show some fucking loyalty. Yeah, the EDF song is so good. To save our Mother Earth from any alien attack. Why the fuck are you idle? What? What is... Okay. What in the legitimate hell is going on? Hmm? Okay, wait a minute. Where Where is all my gamers working at, huh? Click on investigate. Absolutely interfaced right there. Okay. Albatross of Times is sixty dollars for an EDF game is like paying five bucks for the Mona Lisa. Yes. Fuck yeah. All right. All right. This is what's in the storage and general information about it. I see. All right, great. Oh. Oh. Zooming on the queue workers again, you got it. Look at the little beavers and their weird Ewok outfits. All right. Keep humans resolve above 25 for 30 seconds. Dong, ding, bing, bong, dong, bong, bong. Wow. All right. Okay. How long have you been playing? Would you recommend Against the Storm? Why or why not? So let me give my evaluation after having played for just shy of two hours. Just shy of two hours. Um, I feel like what I have been presented with thus far is a set of mechanics and functionality. I know how to gather things. I know how to please the beavers. I know how to keep my humans happy, and I know some of the basic mechanics. Now, the question for me is this roguelite, roguelike element of it. My understanding as I am playing is that as I am progressing through each little settlement, I hit an endpoint where I have won and I move on to the next thing. I like this. It's very mission-based. It's very mission-based. But where is the problem-solving, challenging stuff? That feels like an open question to me. And I fully expect that it's coming up.
The world is a vast, ever-changing place. And at its heart lies the smoldering city. Your goal as a viceroy is to help rebuild it and secure the future of the Queen's subjects. Use the resources you've gathered so far to construct the Obsidian Archive in the Smoldering City. Whoa! Get a permanent minus 2% to the speed at which the Queen's impatience grows. Uh, you gain a permanent speed. Okay. Gain 10% more Citadel resources whenever you finish a settlement. Okay, you gain perm plus two to burning duration for all types of fuel burned in the hearth. I guess I'll just get this. Progression. Win a game with the reconstructed uh, with the reconstructed sealed spider skeleton in the Scarlet Orchard, man. All those are just fucking nouns. Okay. This world is governed by the eternal blightstorm cycle. It is almost upon us, so no caravans are allowed to embark. Click on the button in the lower right corner of the screen to finish the cycle. Blightstorm is coming. Your settlements have been abandoned. The people are returning to the Citadel. Okay. 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 So. I assume then what this means is that I go out. Take some settlements to get some resources. I end the cycle. Everything gets obliterated. But everything also gets reset. Ooh, that's some fucking fancy art. That's some fancy art. You're almost ready to venture out on your own. Choose any map tile inside your embarkation range to begin. Whoa, the sensitivity is very high. Glades have an increased chance of including fertile soil. So I see. So this is showing what my meta rewards are. To embark, you must first choose a caravan that will become the foundation of your town's population. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I, I didn't realize I'd already chosen it. I have no idea what I chose. Next, choose difficulty. I want to play as locked. Okay. Lastly, is all your embarkation points take extra goods with you? I see. You're finally ready to embark on your own. Remember, there is always a way out. Experiment and adapt. Okay. May the storm be gentle on you, fuckface. <laughs> Oh, I see. So it's now showing me everything. It's it's jamming all this together. So for some of you, just just to no. But just so you know, there's some overlap on these because I literally maxed out the size of the UI because I'm an ancient gamer. Twelve reputation is required to win this. 
14 impatience will lead to failure. All right, cool, cool. Severity mild. Okay, okay, for any of you who want my recommendation, I am going to probably say I want to wait another hour before I'm, I'm willing to do that. I'm gonna wait another hour before I'm willing to make a claim one way or the other. Not because I think there's problems, but I feel like there's gaps in my understanding, there's gaps. Okay, so. Clearings are buzz with the sound of crickets. Gain 30 insects for each discovered glade. Active only in the drizzle. Ah, I see. So it's always storming, but it's either drizzling or it's properly fucking losing its mind. Rampaging storm stifles the spirit of all living creatures. An additional stack of this effect is added for each hostility level. Uh, lack of shelter. Ah. Villagers of this effect have soaked clothes and get minus five penalty to their resolve. Wow. Okay. Mushrooms after rain. Oh. Glades have an increased chance of including fertile, fertile soil. Royal woodlands are very lush and rich. Trees give more wood. Villagers have 35% chance of not consuming food during a break. Oh my god. All right. All right. Starts paused, how thoughtful. Whoa, so this is like, whoa, 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 there's so much danger. Whoa, dude. All right, so, okay, so it looks like there are some basic structures that you always get that probably let you gather all resources as some sort of guarantee. There's always shelter. Crude workstation. Rain collector can produce spark dew. Spark dew's a great name. Spark dew's a great name. Are those lakes or fog of war? These are glades. Decorations. Bench, barrels, fence. Fuck, am I gonna decorate anything, man? What is this, Animal Crossing? Get out of here. What's this category here? Damn, plus a quarter impatience per minute. Holy shit, every every four minutes she, she gets furious. Decorations upgrade your forge or furnace or whatever the thing is, your hearth? All right. I mean, pff, whatever. There is so much fucking dan danger, man. All right, I'm gonna snake my way up this way. That's how it's done. All right, but let's see. So this is city buildings, blight post, fighting blight rot. What? Holy shit, a hydrant? Small storage for flame on, purging fire. Blight fighters will use it to restock their fuel when fighting blight rot in the storm. Got it. Okay, holy shit. Warehouse. Okay. Yeah, I, I assume this is like literally, this is our main warehouse. Ah, it's literally called that. Okay, great. Small hearth. Reduces hostility. Is this hostility? No, this is impatience. I wonder what hostility is. Alright, so it looks like trading and blight and hostility are things that were either shared to me and I didn't quite gather. Okay, so let's let's pick something. All right. Oh, I don't start with a trapper's camp? Get out of here. So if I, like, go back to this, we have a small herbalist camp, a small trapper's camp. So if I look at this, it's slower and can only gather from small nodes. Ah. Okay, sweetie pie, we're going to need you to... Okay, look, you can, you can be here, but you need to, like, scoop this way. That's a good girl. All right.
So, holy shit. Find the Obsidian Archon level 3? No, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, okay. So, so I feel like I have no idea which one is better. So, I'm just going to kind of follow along in the same path as before and probably pick a farm. Is there farmland nearby? Uh-uh. No. Nope. You know, I I'm actually not going to do that yet. Let's go ahead and build some camps. So this, this will be my woodcutter's camp for... Press escape to see what resources show up on this. Alright, so that means I'm getting trappers, baby. I'm doing it. If this is wrong, another one? What? Okay, a carpenter can produce planks and scrolls and pack of trade goods. Simple tools, planks, and pack of luxury goods. Fabric, training, your pack of trade goods. I don't know what trading is. I'm not getting this stuff. Oh, I get another one! Get the fuck out of here. Provisioner. Flower barrels, pack of provisions. Fabric, training, pack of trade goods. Don't care about that. A clothier. Coats, water skins, and scrolls, dude. Some clothed-ass beavers up in this shit, man. Ooh, ooh, this game just literally leapt up in rating for me. Oh, fuck. This game really... Oh, shit. Fuck, we might be needing to do this a couple times here. All right. All right. Okay, this is the game. Okay, so we'll also want to do some beaver tunneling this way. So let's go ahead and make... Trapper's Camp, don't care about that. Carpenter and Clothier. All right, so let's go ahead and woodcut our way in. Now, if you're like, why is this not on a grid, Sean? The answer to that is, get out of here. All right. I'm just gonna fully surround this fella. Um, and these are mushrooms. Seems fine to me. Where's camp with... Okay. Herbalist camp, small herbalist camp. Nice! Look at this fucking interface. Holy shit, this game rules. Alright, so guess what? That's it. Is there is there a way to Oh, that's not what we fucking wanted to do. All right, so these beavers are going to town. All right, gain one ancient tablet for every two completed glade events. What? 3 roots per minute. Great, easy. Uh, so what are my... How do I learn what my orders are? Do we just not get them yet? Okay. Logging camp has settings to avoid dangerous glades. Hey, avoid glades. Avoid glades. Okay. So I assume I'll need, like, food. 
and resources. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, just build a... Oh, actually, I can click like this. That is just fucking nice, man. This is where more central infrastructure should be. Oh, is that the entrance? Did I just literally block the entrance? Like a like a dummy? Alright, well. Alright. Oh shit, I cancel it. Well, whatever. What can you do? Four houses, we have ten nerds. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. All right. Complete a Glade event. Oh, I want, I want this greedier one. Make ten planks. Cut through the forest to discover three glades. Workers assigned to Glade events can carry five more items. Huh. That's, that's interesting. Okay. Or basic building materials. All right. Build 35 paths. Huh. All right, I, I'm, I'm going to do this one. This one seems cool. I've done it. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's do a forager's camp. Why not? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh. So here's the herbalist, and I think I'm actually going to build a... Where's a carpenter? It's a carpenter, and we're also going to build a crew workshop over here, too. This is our first priority. And I wonder if there's a way to pause construction. So question, question about priority. Question idea, or, or um, um. As a question. Is zero a higher priority, or is like 10 higher priority? Higher priority is built first, all right. And also, I think that this was incorrect, because this is a void glade except marked. So let's see here, here's my fuel and exploration. This is wood and coal, great. Stone Cutter's Camp. So this is going to chop down these little stone guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a guy doing that. But here is where I really want the work done. Because this, this needs two fabrics. So I need to make sure that I actually get enough plant fiber. So the good news is that I do have this Forager's Camp. We are hunting for some fibers. All right, here's my cat. Yeah, dude, the the, th the 3D rain, you are right, is very cool. Hi, sweetheart. 
Hello. All right, we, we just, we, we must do this. It's actually a contractual obligation as a cat dad. All right. All right, there we go. VTubers look more realistic. Damn right. Come here. Come here. Are we happy? Oh, we're purring. Oh, we're purring like crazy. So let me, let me give her the... Oh, you're not purring anymore. You're mad. Okay. All right. Well, let's... She's happy. Hiss. <laughs> All right. So these... Common food source. Okay. So looking at these... I love biscuits. Pickled goods? I wonder how you pickle things. But they both like clothing, so we got the cloth of yanks. That's great. Oh my god. I can see how this game just takes the rest of your life. Like that. Super easy. Lemon squeezy. Complete any one Glade event. All right, great. So this will be my first Glade event over here. They have the meats. All right, so now I just want to kind of clear out that area. So we're, we currently don't have any builders. I have a little building beaver. Orders are tea. Recipes you. So this is actually interesting. This is... Okay. So this is this is if I'm like, oh shit, I need to build blah, and I can type it in. It'll tell me how it works, right? So if I like do planks, this tells me, oh wow, carpenters are way more efficient at that shit. Damn. If I look at coats, I can use one fabric to make fucking 10 coats? Shit! I believe now that yes, I recommend this game. Holy shit. All right. I'll just have one person banging out fabrics, you know? Holy shit, what sold you on it? Um, clear goals. Because like, okay, holy shit, everyone, everyone needs to shut the fuck up for a moment here, okay? Listen to me, okay? I don't believe it. I've talked about, holy shit, I've talked about, holy shit, I've talked about this before. Let me back up to myself in the past, but here in the present for you, the viewer, unless you're watching on YouTube. So I have talked extensively about the following idea that it is maybe my most dearly held gaming belief, which is if you tell the player what their goals are, you can make the obstacles in the way of those goals and the player's tools to overcome the obstacles to get to the goals. You can make those tools and those obstacles as complicated as you want. But by God, players need unbelievably cl crystal clear fucking goals. You need to tell me the goal. What's my goal? What's my long term? What's my goal? What is my goal? And as a sort of sub piece to that, I want steps on the way to the goal to make sure that I'm doing a good or bad job. And so... Traditionally, I use this in um, multiplayer games. Uh, in a game like Overwatch, push the cart, that's it. Push the cart, push the cart, just push the cart. You just need to push the cart. Am I doing a good or bad job? I don't know, are you pushing the cart? Did you kill six people with slick flick shots 
and then not push the cart, okay, you probably something's going wrong, right? There you go. What are the steps towards the end? Oh, the, oh, we hit checkpoint one and checkpoint two and checkpoint three, right? Just there's a clear goal. Now in Overwatch, learning what all the heroes do, learning the interactions among the heroes, their strengths, their weaknesses. I mean, there's a whole lot of stuff to know. But as long as you tell me my goals, great, things are guided. Um, and I normally describe this kind of thing in multiplayer, or we could, you know, do other comparisons of like, oh yeah, in Magic, you start at 20 health, your goal is to bring it to zero, and the steps are those little chunks of health, down to 17, now 16, now 11, now four, right? You, you can see the progress towards the goal. Um, but when it comes to single player games, there's this pattern of development that, for me personally, kind of irritates the shit out of me, which is games that have fun, but don't create a motivated goal. And so it feels like I need to study a wiki or learn a bunch, not about how the game works or positive or negative techniques, but I literally need to learn what it is that I'm even trying to do. What is my goal of this at all? And um, for many survival crafting games, You've heard me talk about the lack of goals and how much I loved Factorio, because Factorio says you need to launch the rocket. That's your goal. And then there's producing Science Pack 1, Science Pack 2, Science Pack 3, Science Pack 4, and all the way up. And all these different kinds of Science Packs give me a little short-term goal, where short is like five to 10 hours. It gives me a short-term goal. I need to do stuff to start producing this resource in large amounts, two thumbs up. I think a lot of single player games have been lacking this and would benefit greatly from having an absolute clarity of goal. So here I am, able to just hit the T button, let's open this shit up, and the game literally says, okay, dude, this bar down here, you're trying to fill this one all the way up. So hey, lo and behold, I have already filled up a bar. I filled up a full ass reputation, fuck yeah. However, there are even more clear sub goals. Okay, so I need to make some planks. I need to complete a glade event, great. And then I'm going to get more of this guided, right? Like, okay, in, in six minutes and 49 seconds, I'm ready to look at some new orders, perfect. And so I was being presented with mechanics for the first um, two hours for those two tutorial missions, I was being presented with mechanics. Here is the literal of how things work. Oh. But I was kind of like, oh, okay, so is this a game where I just need to like monitor the happiness of my various forms of population and then that's it? Is I just kind of need to do that? Is this what my goal is? Just keep growing endlessly until everyone gets so pissed off they quit. No, no, it's not. That's a false statement. In fact, what your actual goal is, oops, your goal is complete these objectives to gain reputation to win. These then represent obstacles. They represent problems. And as you heard me lead with this, I firmly believe that if you give really crystal clear goals and crystal clear steps on the way to your ultimate goal, you can make the obstacles as complicated as you want. You can make the tools for the player as complicated as you want because now I feel excited and because everything's fucking motivated. I'm going to unlock a new building. Ooh, ooh, what did I unlock? What would ever make me able to choose one of these blueprints correctly? Oh shit, I definitely want to make sure that on here I see that there's a lot of meat and I see some eggs there. So I probably wanna make sure that I have something for that so that I can then satisfy these nerds so that then I'm going to be able to solve these orders more effectively. It's fucking great. It's fucking great. This is great. Holy shit. All right. So next thing's next, gonna get the carpenter. And then, um, how large, how large is a, uh, how large is a clothier? I'm content to have a clothier here. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this as a negative one priority. Because we don't really need that right now. That's sort of like a longer diffuse goal. I wanna be making a bunch of fabrics here. 
Why do I have two of these fucking nerds here? So I can get the carpenter working. All right, we got some eggs. All right, we got some we got some fertile soil. Shit, yeah. Okay. And the problem with this is that we are now out of plant fiber. So we need to go find some plant fiber. We can make clay, so I just going I'm just going to make clay. I think that's fine. Hmm. Sea marrow. Okay. So let's let's let me understand this. Let me understand this. Let me understand this. I need plant fiber. And where does plant fiber come from? Obtained by hallowed small farm, plantation, harvester's camp, homestead. So if I go back to my recipes panel and I look up just fiber, does that show this here? It does not. Okay. Leather and reed. Clay pit. These are clay deposits, not clay pits. How do you click on trees? Oh my god. I remember. Oh, there it is. All right, great. It's time it's time to get chopping, babies. So now I'm going to set some goals for myself here. Is T the right button? Great. So this is some planks and stuff over here, and then I'm also going to say, you know what? It's okay. Chop these down and go into this ancient blight. Okay. Now, I am thinking out loud. I am sharing my thoughts out loud. And it's funny because what I'm seeing is the speed of chatter going very, 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 very quickly. Which means that there is a risk that people are trying to suggest shit to me to fucking do. And in that regard, I would say, just let me suffer. I like suffering. So here, we are in need of some construction resources. So let me peel this puppy out, add this one here. It's crafting resources, right? So there's plant fiber, great. More cat, you got it. Okay. So this is actually an incredibly fun little pressure system. I think that this, this bar down at the bottom is fucking brilliant. This is brilliant. Because right now, I need a total of 12 reputation pips, and then there's 14 Queen's Impatience pips. So this lets me know if I'm doing a good or bad job of completing these. And you know what? I think I may as well have one person assigned here. Just churning out some planks. Why not? Why not? All right. Seal 45 to so Dana gets more attractive the older he gets. Let me tell you something, Seal. Here, here is my attractiveness goal. 
my wish in terms of this is... Are we still... Are we jamming through stuff? Things are going good. All right, we're getting a little bit of fiber. Six of these to make two of those. All right, great. My goal is that here's time going this way. Here's hotness going up. As I age, this is my hope. I want to do this. Wow, you're looking great. Have you been working out? Sean, I'm worried about you. Are you taking care of yourself? Wow, you look great. Are you working out? Sean, I'm worried about you. You should take care of yourself. Wow, you're really aging really well. Sean, aging affects everyone. Don't worry about it. Like, that's what I want. I want that to always be alternating. I want those judgy little snipes coming in all the time. Oops. Phase you in currently. I'm currently on an upswing. Okay, so this is... All right, so we've just opened one of these dangerous glades. So now what? Oh, <laughs> DSC, Wolf Norex says, you look a lot better than usual today. Now that's exactly the kind of like underhanded insult that I love so much. All right, so let's find out what's up with this. So this, a reputation and some amber, which is used for construction. But this will help me accelerate. I'm probably gonna choose this one. We do have 12 of those, that's great. This is a large band in cash. This is a small farm. Really, oh wow. Only need two planks, great. Huge stormbird nests, whoa. And I even have my trapper's camp, fuck yeah. This is the first one that we really need to worry about, which is an open entrance to an ancient dungeon. Strange sounds can be heard from coming inside. Okay. A thick spreading cloud of miasma that kills every living being within a radius of 20 fields. Fuck. Ha. So now I get to stop and I get to be like, all right. So I can make some tools. Excuse me, I can make some infused tools or simple tools. All right, so th this this is a later one. This requires some planks and some nerds. All right, so while this is working, all woodcutters and gatherers get a minus 12 penalty to resolve. Goodness gracious. The crown doesn't like you tinkering with ancient relics, and patience grows 100% faster. Okay. Well, I have news. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, bricks and crystallized dew and planks, dude. I'm fucking. I'm doing this shit. Doing this. Yeah, th this is the one I need tools for. Is this one and this one? Holy shit! These beavers are fucking devastated. These are the most heartbroken beavers. Holy shit! Come on, beavers. Humans' resolve is low. The heart is breaking. Come on. Give me that glade event. Petition to please the beavers? No, let me tell you something. I'm an absolute beaver herder. I'm here to inflict pain on the beavers. But wait. I could fucking do this. Where I pull this off and then I go, nunny all cutting wood. No, no, no. Ah? Huh? Ah? Huh? How 
many planks do I have? I should have some planks. Some planks in the tanks. It's crafting resources. This is building materials. Two planks. Come on, plank ball, corner pocket. Oh, look at that. Two planks coming right up. Easy. Oh shit, I got I got glowies. Do you wish to have more beavers or more humans? They have reeds. Oh shit, yeah, we get some fucking reeds. Hell yes. Choose a cornerstone. No one can weather the storm alone. The cost of knowledge can be very high. You can see the content of undiscovered glades, but discovering dangerous or forbidden glades kills one villager. I don't hate beavers that fucking much. All right, calming the forest. Every two newly completed dangerous and forbidden glade that lowers hostility by 50. Okay, so here, here's a question. What's hostility? Is it this? Oh. I found it. Oh my god, this game is fucking awesome, man. Holy shit. I am... I stan for Against the Storm. I'm horny for Against the Storm, legitimately. Again, sinusoidal traction is going up over time. Your sediment grows, the forest grows more hostile. Oh, dewbush. I don't even get that shit. Now. Fuck yeah. Holy shit. It's a glowing review. Afterglow review, even. <laughs> Syrath, that's really good. That's really great. Yeah, the game is only 20 bucks. I don't even like that noise at all. So we're not we're not chippity chopping any wiggly wood. Orders are here. So we have the glade event coming up. We're about to get some more stuff. So overall though, some of the things that I feel like I need to do is I need to just get some of these basic structures going. And I actually don't really have a good input of things like leather. This has a probability of producing leather. This has a probability of producing miet. Entirely sure how we get leather. Tamed by a ranch. Give me a fucking break. Oh, I need to hit. I need to hit the button. Flower and vegetables. Does anyone need beer? Figured it out. So, as a question, why is it minus 12? Why is this minus 12? Robon says I could use a brew. Yeah. Glade event is causing it, but I thought this was only causing it for woodcutters and gatherers. Are these guys gatherers? Can only gather from small node. They're fucking gathering. Life sucks here right now, man. Everyone working in camps are gatherers. Fuck. Alright. Oh, we're fucking out of biscuits. We are, we are like, shh. We are so bad right now. Come on. Come on. 30 more seconds. Come on. I'm keeping the goods. Box of crystallized dew. Box of planks. All 
All right. All right. Yes. Excellent. All right, so, so, come on, finish, finish, finish. Come on, come on, let's go, come on, finish. Shit, I have three pips of Queen's Impatience. This Queen fucking sucks, man. Okay, we've done it. All right, so I am now going to ask. Be the, be the. Where are my beavers at? Oh, we got some beavers working in there. All right, beaver, beaver, uh, beaver. Beaver, and then, oh, and then here. Okay, so we we did it. We deliver this. Bang. Pick an order. Keep lizards resolve above that. I don't have lizards. A uh, pack of trade goods. We can make one of those. Amber, a widely accepted currency in the kingdom. Crystallized tree blood. Fitting. Shit. Shit fuck. Wait. I have lizards? Oh shit, where'd these fucking lizards come from? That's fucking unbelievable. What up, guys? You want... You want... Alright, I got you. No, no, no. Look, 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 look. Okay, look. So I'm gonna make... Do I have any trappers? Woodcutters, crude workstation, woodcutters, large band of cash, small farm, all this garbage. No, 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 no. What we're going to do is we're going to build a camp. Camp times, camp clock, three, eight, and six. Dude, I am like so busted on houses. Rotate, 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 rotate. Oh, wait. We got, we got a blueprint? Okay. Rain mill can produce stuff. Lumber mill. I already feel like we've done this. Pickled goods and ale? Fuck yeah, dude. Who doesn't love pickled goods? I love pickled goods. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Really good. Um... So what am I doing right now? I need, I need to just I need to get these lizards fucking happier. And it's time to increase my my housing. No one can live here right now. I literally have fucking 12 12 houses. So we have 8 and 6 is 14, 14 and 3 is 17, so we have 12. Can I select multiple things at once? Great. Let's get some houses built. So I have 8 beavers, but like, my beavers are just lost, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, he's chilling by the fucking amber hearth. Where's he gonna go to work? How do I figure out? How do I figure out where that where that beaver works? Oh my god! All right, I got some lizards. He runs the hearth. Wait, so this... Cool. Okay. He literally, he literally, he works there. He's a hearth worker. Wind up, we already know all that. We, we, we've been talking about that for a bit. Because obviously we don't need leather uh, to be able to make the cloth. We get plant fiber. This is why we have so many woodcutters assigned to be able to generate enough fiber for us. And we're getting some, but in terms of actually generating leather, we feel like this is a way to generate leather, or we just kind of have to keep digging into glades to find something that we can collect. So I'm actually going to move this thing. Digging into this glade. 
Oh, you just got here? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so excited to assign lizards to this shit, man. I'm fucking garbage at making planks, dude. This is the problem. I just can't. I can't get my stuff started. Get my stuff started. Alright, so we need someone to do the, that. Alright, lizard time. Lizards. Lizards love grabbing eggs, man. Uh, so this is not collecting anything. And I think that's fine. I don't even think I need that shit. So let me make wooden tools, like super seriously. We're doing some things. All right, so let's let's go here. Yeah, I just, I really need to find some shit that I can collect here. Yeah, let me, let me just say, the rule is no backseating unless I go, yo, I have a super ultra crazy, very, 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 very specific question. So let's go ahead and move this guy, like here, right? Alright. Always need more workers. Alright, let's make some houses. My lizards love this shit. My lizards are just working their way up. Reputation threshold, hell yeah. Okay. We're making some planks. We're doing we're doing a non-zero amount of beneficial things. We're just not getting that much plant fiber. We're really just not getting that much plant fiber. Shit, we, we did it. We got fucking plant fiber. Okay, so what is going on here? I don't have the vegetables. Of course. Mushrooms. Oh, thank God. So what, what gathers these things? Harvester's camp? Do I have a harvester's camp? All right, I do not. Camps. Who fucking loves harvesting, man? All right. Makes lizards happy. Jerky, skewers, religion, brawling, pickled goods, pie. Oh wait, we had a we had, we had a pickled maker. Brewery. Fucking pickled goods, baby. Still need I still need that fabric. Really, we are locked on fabric like fucking hard. So we kind of need to get this thing made. Wait, do I not have enough for a harvester's camp? Oh, this zero to three have been brought. Ooh, that's fucking some scary shit right there.
Okay. Alright. I'm gonna mark this here. I don't have the resources for this. Alright, we are we are we are growing well. We're doing good stuff. Let me pause and just glance at this. Oh, I didn't even pick this shit. Whoops. I can make this, I think. Wine. Oh shit. All right, cosmetics, training gear. Tinker, manufactory, cooperative hut, apothecary. Ale. 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 Ale, ale, ale. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. All right, so we got that shit. This hasn't been delivered. This finally, finally fucking happens. Bakery, biscuits, pie, and pottery. Flour, barrels, and packs of provisions. Oh, dude, biscuits, pie, and pottery. Fuck yeah, dude, we're bakerying it. Bakery. What is this? This is a clothier, a bakery. Oh, shit, dude, let me tell you something. We're getting biscuits, we're getting fucking pie. Mm, let's go, let's go. All right, so we'll probably need to be clearing out this area, just broadly speaking. So I'm actually gonna just, ew, clear like that. Um, cloth is bottleneck for everything? Damn right it is. We need that fucking cloth. That's why this is gonna have two beavers. Hey, hey. hey. What what is this? Oh. Huh. Hmm. I don't understand. Great. So let's do a, a brief uh check. We have not four and six. Four and six is 10, nine is 19. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually house 27. Great. Oh, thank you, thank you, the stars. Do we have two beavers in here? Three beavers. We make a unit of... These lizards must be having a grand old time. Alright, so... You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna try to make them happy. I'm gonna try to make them happy with beer. I'm gonna try to make them happy with beer is what I'm gonna try to do. Pickled goods, pack of crops. All right, so, so we're going to do some barrel recipes here. We're going to have some vegetables getting made. Grains. Roots. Barrels. I don't know. I, don't even, I have no idea what a pack of crop is. I don't think anyone's ever known what a pack of crop is. No one's ever heard of that before. 100% for sure. I really want to clear out this area. Oh, actually, that's so close to being done. That's fine. So, we actually have a pretty good spread of food.
Brewery. Who loves brewing? Oh shit, look at this. They they're so happy. Are they? Is that true? Alright, um oh no, it's ten going down to eight. This is okay. Aw oh, shit. Aw oh, fuck. And what what is this sadness? What what are you so devastated about, huh? Okay, the storm is making people sad, beer and biscuits. Alright. Okay, so who who loves brewing? Humans enjoy brewing? Well. What are some jobs I have humans doing? Mondo. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, it makes things better. It's true. Holy shit, did we did we fucking do it? What are water skins for? Used for education. I don't think I need this. I don't know what these do, but I'll make some coats. We have a lizard tailor. So let's see, we have a brewery and uh what what are the other buildings that we have? We have a brewery. Bakery? Fucking hell yeah. Still bottlenecked on cloth. This is a... Oh, it's it's here! It's right here, baby! Alright, we, we can make pie and biscuits. Awesome. And pottery? That'll be perfect. Where do you think we make barrels at, huh? Let's find out, because I bet this game will tell me. Produced by a pooperage, a provisioner, or an artisan. But I can also change this into jars. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Dude. Mm -hmm, let me tell you. Clay. Alright, we're gonna need we're gonna need more clay then. Who's who's not working? Alright. Congratulations. We now have a lizard and a human. And a lizard. Ah. Ah. So, current level. What? What? All right, well. What's within range mean? What does within range mean? What does it mean? Oh shit, you can fucking see it right there on the map. All right, let's make some clumsy ass dumb decorations. Lizard. Post, okay cool, let's make one of those. Flower bed. This is fucking expensive, this is getting killed. <laughs> All right. So well decorated. So well decorated. Impressed even myself. Who likes, who likes baking, huh? So here's the thing, we don't, we don't exactly need more. All right, so. No builders, huh? Build that shit. Fact sitting if I say that an oopsie? Yeah, fuck yeah it is, man. Hell yeah it is. Absolutely. Get out of here. 
What do you think? I'm here to be coddled? No back seating. That's the rule. No back seating in the slightest. Try to back seat. You'll be killed. Oh. Wow, there's so many people coming in. Dude, I want these fabrics. Gain five payment for every ten insects produced. An artifact infused with power of the Holy Flame. Hostility from woodcutters is decreased by four. Sure, I'll get that. So I can actually fulfill this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Where am I be reset? game rules okay so so what are we doing we're we're, we're we're really just getting some pickled goods made you know i mean these guys love their fucking pickled goods look at this we get some fucking clothes getting made mm -mm -mm. look at this lizard lizard's making some clothes he loves to see it i mean this is this is awesome look we have all these decorations For comfort decorations. Okay. Um. Got it. Uh oh, we're getting that lizard resolve, baby. Oh, there's a flax field. Fuck oh, yeah. I'm having a flax field day with this shit. Okay. Alright, I'm going on sub mode. I see some people telling me stuff I already know uh, that violates our backseating rule regardless. Alright. Thirteen more seconds. Great. Bam. Got him. Pa pow. See you later. G -g 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 -g. We actually do want all of those things. Great. Dude, we're going to get biscuits. Dude, fucking people love it here. You get to wear clothes. You have pickled stuff. Oh. Biscuits are coming in. Man, I've never seen a happier group of gamers. Deliver. We get more lizards out of that shit? Fuck yeah. Alright. I think the resolve of them is going to be completely fine. Gentleman's Tales? Sure. All right, here's where the tavern goes. This actually fits together so nicely. Path, oh wait, what kind of path do I have? I have a paved road? What? Amazing. This is the amount of backseating today feels remarkably high. It's actually pretty, it's actually been pretty great. It's been pretty awesome. If, if I may be so honest. Oh, wait, we don't have any herbs. Okay, where, where, where are herbs collected? Ah, oh, shit.
These vegetables. Herbs, 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 herbs. All right, is there another ingredient that I can use for this? Oh, I thought I already did that. Dude, I can use fucking eggs. Eggs for making pie? Dude, flour and eggs? Oh, shit. We do need to start making flour, though. <gasps> How do we make flour? Rain mill? Press? Provisioner? Stamping mill? Supplier? Fuck! Can't believe it. We're gonna run out of this shit fast. I'm gonna need to start making some damn luxury goods, you know what I mean? Four ales. Okay. Is this still the tutorial? No, this is the real game for real gamers. <laughs> this is a big tough boy game right here. Builders. Okay, so we have 11 and 8. It's 19 plus 5 is 24. And we have 27 possible housing. Oh, shit. Beavers resolve on 20. Dude, that's like not an issue. And we get to cut easier. Damn, that's what I'm fucking talking about. What is this? Wildfire essence? I have no idea what that even means. Pick. Fulfill your villagers' need for leisure 50 times. Dude, fuck yeah. Um, keep beavers resolve? Dude, I just love having beavers resolve. More roots. Uh, we'll have... Oh, wait. You, you love doing this kind of job, don't you, dude? Dude, this is, this is the kind of bar we want, man. A lizard. Dude, I'm like almost done with these objectives. Like, and I'm gonna get some more nerds here soon. Fuck yeah. And we can make tools here. Okay, what, what actually maybe has too many nerds in it? We're actually gonna run out of bakery ingredients here, so may as well just jam that guy into the carpenter. Beaver, go. Tavern, stone cutters, camp. Alright, so let's see here. Dude, I'm real happy. My lizard's getting eggs over here, man. Like, so pleased. Dude, we are, we are, we are, like, nearly about to win this shit. This is so good. Dude, I got four beavers! Yes! And I'm making these? Alright, dope. Yo, 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 yo. Dude, we have, like, a primarily beaver-driven... Collective over here. So we have 15 plus 8 is 23, plus 5 is 28, so we need to get another house. And we don't have a builder, so we're not super in need in this stone cutters camp, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel a human out of here. Great. Pivot to Timberborn. It's time to raise and lower the water levels. Oh, I need to choose a blueprint. A brickyard, a cookhouse, or a smokehouse?
I am just frankly worried about the fact that I'm winning too hard right now. So, I mean, Jerky will just get our lizards fucking going on, man. Maybe, maybe a brickyard, but maybe I just, I don't know. I really don't know. I, w I just want to get a brickyard because I just want to get a brickyard. I mean, I basically have a lot of clay, so why not? Oh, I can put it here. Nice. Game is gentle for fresh starts. Dude, it's so good. Here's your fucking brickyard. Alright, I don't even know where I can fit this shit. Crude boy shop. Alright, we're out of plant fiber, huh? Um, so let's make a brickyard. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I get to pick another one? Shit. This is what we want. We want this so bad, dude. We are so desperate for this thing right now. Wait, where's the plantation? So I can build it like this? And then what I would do is I would go to... Okay, so how does this work? Use nearby farm fields. So I do I do want to make farm fields. <sighs> yes! And then we can make berries for our pie! Yes, 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 yes. Dude, holy shit, look at this. We can make... We can fucking put berries in that shit. Mmm, that's so good. So we are, we are going to run a little low on pies, huh? Fucking sucks. Fucking really quite sucks. All right, well, whatever. Whatever. I mean, I'm hurtling towards success. Like, no one can stop me right now. I knew I misclicked that. Whew! Woo! Okay, so we still need herbs. Moss broccoli patch for vegetables. Fuck! Damn it! Rats. Crud. Crap. Baloney. So I think herbs are the main thing that we really need. And flour, and we need like a mill or some shit. Well, I'm entertaining people. I'm getting bigger barrels. Getting parts. We're making this, though, so that's pretty neat. Okay. Oh, my God. See, it's kind of funny because... <sighs> Brewery, bakery... Tavern. How many one we can build? Oh, shit, everyone's devastated. Dude, they're so happy. I run JT gift in five. What up, I run JT? Happy Wednesday, my dude. Happy Wednesday, my dude. Everyone's pretty sad right now. Oh, yeah, Ghost Talker. I haven't moved in four hours, huh? Huh. Okay, thank you, thank you. We're gonna take a break, because I have not moved for four hours. This game is so good! Oh, shit, yeah, this game is fucking rad. 
And I want to do it on a much more painful difficulty setting on the next one. But let me, we're going to take a little, uh, we're going to take a three minute and 33 second break. Uh, and when I return, we're going to play against the storm. 